Subliminal TV. Today is a good day for a ride. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, this is my first clip. Well, I did one practice run with the Insta360 right there. But this is my first time actually going out, putting it on the bike, on the extended stick to see what it's really going to be like. I've already played around with the editing software. I can say this, man, like, I love the GoPros. But the Insta360 offers you something else, man. I like them both. But I'm telling you, the 360, I think I'm going to have some fun with it. Jasper, Georgia. I need to find an auto parts store somewhere around here. I need to get some oil, actually. So... I didn't want to bore you guys with this, but I had to stop at this auto zone here because I got the bike needed some oil in it. And I knew that the last time I rode it and I forgot. So I ended up here and realized, and I know that's crazy, but it happened. And I'm used to like the Japanese bikes. I don't know how the later model ones are, but I know. I usually just put oil in it. In this case, I had to remove that fairing right there, that side piece, to get that in there. So, that's done now. And now I'm going to go meet the guys. Woo, that motherfucker's nice, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> uh, man, that bike when it first came out was a beast. Okay. So there should be bikes here. Oh, there they go. What's up? How you doing? All right, how you doing? I'm Eric. Jacob. Nice to meet you, Jacob. Nice to meet you. I'm Brady. Eric. Nice to meet you. Wes. Eric. Nice to meet you, man. How's it going? <laughs> you got it already? Huh? You yeah, got No, I grabbed something because you... I guess you guys were already riding when I asked. Right. So I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and get something because. So I'm good. So what's the plan? You guys going home, right? Yeah. We're headed back for They're staying out. So. Cool. Cool. All right. Cool. Let's do it. I like that bike right there. It's different. Pick up, boy. I'm not sure that I've been over here before. I think I have. Authentic Cajun food. No, I don't think so. Interesting. Definitely a place I'll come back to check out some food. Again, I'm always... That smells so good. Dominic's. I'll be back. <laughs> you look at that. You see that? That's roadkill. Those are definitely bones of some sort. Another Ducati. <laughs> I 
I'm telling you, like bikes, you have such a sense of like just freedom. You're not surrounded by anything. Like in a car, the car is safer, of course, but just a sense of freedom. Only my bikers understand. Remember, I came up this route and I was like, this is easily, I, I can tell you guys now, this is gonna be a route that I'm gonna be taking. And as you can see, here <laughs> we are again. I find myself here. That's different. Yeah, it is. <laughs> What is it? It's a Husqvarna Pitbullen 401. I've never seen this. Yeah. We went to the dealership and Mountain Motorsports. We were just looking around and I saw this. So you didn't go for this, you just saw it? Yeah, I, saw it. Yeah. I was actually looking at a SVC 50. And they wanted like all these dealer fees and shit. And this was used. So I just got this one. I rather really had this over the SV650 though because I see a lot of those. This yeah, is rare. Exactly. Yeah. It's good to be different. It's good to be different, right? Exactly. Yeah, I like this. It takes the turns pretty well. Yeah, it's nimble. Yeah, definitely light. <laughs> I really enjoy riding a bike. <laughs> For the longest time as I was looking at them to buy another one I was thinking a lot of times like man I probably won't even have time to ride it it'll probably just sit which some which it does sit <laughs> I don't ride as much as I did when I was like really younger but I I'm saying all that to say man <laughs> I'm so glad that I bought the bike one of the best things I did I enjoy these days that I ride the bike and like I say it's such a sense of freedom just being out here in the open road I enjoy riding the bike at this point now, I don't know if I'll sell it. And I remember when I was even looking to buy them, I was like, man, I'll probably buy it. Maybe keep it for a couple of years and then be done with it. Just get it out of my system. Honestly, I don't think that's gonna happen. And you know, things do change. Maybe it will. But right now, nah, I really enjoy riding. I meet cool people, see cool roads and cool places. I enjoy it. been on this road in a long time I've come through here in Ferrari quite a bit <laughs> that was fun. I like this road. <laughs> I like this road. This is why I took the pictures in the Ferrari that day. I kind of want to go back and get the footage from that guy. I see him with that tripod. That was a good road. That was fun. That was a good one. <laughs> Today, 
Tallahoochee National Forest Woody Gap. And so we did go back to see who the guy was with the tripod out. What you get? What you get when we came through the first time? Let me see it. Can I have it? That's why we came back actually. And he ended up being a pretty cool guy, Ryan. And we end up hanging out, <laughs> getting a lot of shots. How you doing? All right. Oh, you guys still? That's not me. Oh, it's not you. Which one? Mm -mm. Oh, shoot. We didn't exactly have exactly <laughs> what we thought we could use. So what we ended up doing was giving him our phones. Or I gave That's him cool. iPhone. What kind of phone you got? Uh, I got a Pixel. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my phone. Do what? Yes. Mm, I'm gonna do it for you in cinematic. Let me let me see what she's doing too. Uh, and landscape. Then there was this other mm -hmm. girl out there who also got some still photography of us. Take you gonna take pictures for us when we come through? And she got some pretty cool shots. As We're well. gonna come from this way. I'll put some here so that you can see them. And that ended up being how we spent the rest of the day. guys who stopped by on bikes who also up, asked us when they saw us out there taking pictures if we got pictures of <laughs> them as they here. were going around the curve so we told them no but the same reason we stopped which was for this guy here to get our photos what we'll do is get your photos so they got on their bikes proceeded to go and do a couple of runs and we got them <laughs> Other bike and he gets another perspective and we really ended up hanging out having a pretty good time met some cool people as usual always happens that way when you're out doing things with like-minded people whether it's cars motorcycles or whatever it is That's what I like. I'm all about that community and just hanging out with cool people, doing cool things. By the way, the girl that was here helping us with the photos, taking still photos, they were over there repelling over this mountain. And that was dope. Let's check them out. Next time, I told them maybe next time. I've been trying to move a mountain on my way to get to you. Skinny dipping in an ocean view. It's an uphill kind of battle to make you see my point of view. Is it worth it? I ain't got a clue. Sometimes you shoot yourself in the foot of the boat of Vietnam. Sometimes.
again thanks for watching like subscribe peace, peace.